Hey guys, and welcome back to more Pokemon Omega Ruby. This episode, we'll be probably taking on the gym. I, did I heal? Let's let's check. I just... Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you, me from the past. A few minutes... How long ago did I... I don't even remember healing. That's a problem. Hey, it's a an ace trainer? I, I'm not sure. Hey, you take it on a Pokemon gym yet? Once you get a shiny gym badge in your hand, that's when you really start to feel like a trip. Oh, you mean it's like having a baby, dude? grabs your finger and then you feel like a father and no, oh, there's writing on that sign that is very graffiti rude that's a new term i put time saving tunnel near incompletion that's what the sign says also it's a big x splashed across in red paint that's very unfortunate i wonder what kind of color red represents probably magma that's not a color but anyways welcome back to some more pokemon omega ruby here we are in the rustboro city gym this music we're experiencing it, not just for the second we were in our dad's gym, but for real this time. My voice cracked and made that completely less cooler than it should have been. Hello! You must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply in battle all that I have learned at the Pokemon Trainer's School. I have completely butchered that sentence. I am sorry. I, I was doing so well at the beginning, too. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a trainer. Until then, farewell. Oh, that's very quaint. Hey! Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? Yes! I would. Do you have a secret entrance to there? Because I really... Uh, it's gonna take a little while. I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. Then it's settled. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. If it's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. That's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader here, is a user of rock type Pokemon. The rock types is very durable, but can't stand water and grass. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym. We'll go for it. Oh my gosh, this guy's the coolest guy ever. He always believes in me. Oh, uh, here we have all these cool little fossils. I wasn't sure what some of these were. That's a beautiful piece of amber. Okay, that's the old amber. Oh yeah, so that's just all the different stuff. What is this? Is this a space station? Fossils, it's with petrified wood. Oh. Okay then, hey. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Then what? Than, than everything in general, because y are you better than a tofu salad? Well, I personally think so. I do not like tofu that much, but it could be someone else's preference, and you might not be better than that to them. So it's very rude of you to say that you are generally better than most things. Well, frankly, it's really rude of you to say that you are better than, well, anything you don't have, you know, statistical evidence against. Which is why I usually, when say that I am better than something, I know I'm better than the plague. Statistically, I have not ruined that many people's lives. As many. I don't know if I've actually ruined anyone's lives. Now I have to... Now I have to take this whole existential, like, thought process of whether or not I did do anything bad to anyone, and I would really have to apologize, because I don't think I could... That would really suck, actually. You know, it'd be really sad. I don't want to do that to anyone. I don't want to hurt people. Oh well. Well, anyways, no. See, statistically, I'm better than the plague. So I know I'm better than that. You can't just generally say I, I'm better than. I can't even say I'm better than youngster. No, I actually can't say I'm better than youngster Josh because I beat Josh, and I'm sure beating the people who beat Josh as well. So, I think that's pretty good. Oh, hey! It's a nice little map of the entire... Well, it's like a clay... It's a clay replica of the world. You can't beat me, you won't stay a chance against her. That is true. See, that is a very factual statement that you can... You can apply... Excuse me, to everyday life. Tommy here knows what he's talking about. Just like my good old friend, Pokesinma. He knows what he's talking about. Actually, not a lot of the time. Sometimes not even he knows. Neither do I. I love you, Tom. Anyways, we've gotten more of that- Oh, he <laughs> disappears for a second. That's cute. What were we talking about again? I don't remember. I'm really oblivious sometimes to the- A lot of things, actually. But that's okay. You know, sometimes 
Someone is trying to say something mean to my face, to me, and I just don't care. You know, it's a very good... Oh, it's it's a, it's a lip, lip... Oh gosh, I made a mistake. I have made a huge mistake. Not very huge. It was, it was kind of small, but let's go ahead. I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school. I mean, the school is right beside there, but yeah, what were we talking about? Also, I have memory problems. That's a, in case that hasn't been established. That's that's part of the whole shebang. In case you weren't sure about that, but that's okay. We're good. Let's go ahead and water down this rock. Nice. Doesn't have sturdy. It makes me really happy when Pokemon do not have sturdy because, frankly, that's just a little bit extra effort that you need to put in. I don't think I was hurt once, and I have a bunch of water gun PP. It is time, Roxanne. You are about to be defeated. Oh, that's a cool little thing. That's an Aerodactyl. Please show me it. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, look at that. This is so cool. I love all this panning in the game. It's so great. Just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? Oh. All right. She is putting her hand down. That's cool. Here we have these cool little intro slides. We got Roxanne. All right. This is the challenge. We're, this is our first gym battle. Oh, my gosh. It better go well. I don't want to mess this one up at all. We have to make it beautiful and a little bit perfect. Oh, look at the backgrounds, too. That's so cool. It really reminds me of Pokemon Stadium, and I love that game so much. That's so great. Okay, this one has sturdy. Please don't attack me, though. Oh, gosh. She actually... Please don't slow me down. Oh, you crit. Well, that's fabulous. I'm going to water gun again in case she uses... There it is. <laughs> there it is. And if it, heal... if, it... if it heals to full, then it ends up with another sturdy. So that's really unfortunate. I might use a potion, actually. Oh, good. Oh, thank goodness. Hanuacha. What a great guy you are. Okay. I'm gonna keep battling. It seems like the logical thing to do. Okay, I'm gonna use a potion here. I wanna see how much exact damage he does. I have some Oran Berries. I have an Ether. We're in a good position. I'm never gonna use the Oran Berries, though. I don't think I would. Okay, see, last hit. Oh, good. Except I'm so slow. I'm a so slow. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that, but that's okay. Okay, good. He's hardening. That's fine. Because that doesn't do any damage to me whatsoever. And my voice is going everywhere. In case you're wondering, no, I have not slept very much because I was so excited for this game. Okay, how much did it do? It did 12 damage. I should be able to live that unless it does a critical hit. Otherwise, I am in a bit of a pickle. Uh... I'm gonna use a potion because I have like 40 of them. Not exactly. I have nine. That's a lot different from 40. The number is kind of. I should not be an accountant, is what I'm trying to get at here. <laughs> That's okay. All right. I I did that because I'm really afraid of critical hits. They are like my least favorite thing to lose to in the entire game. I guess so. Or maybe a maybe a trainer I don't like. Like you know, come across a fisherman who throws 80 magic carps at me and I actually have to stay there for all 80 because he and wait for him to go to his PC to get more I just I don't oh this is the end so I lost it seems that I still have too much more to learn well it's a good thing you live right beside a school I understand the Pokemon League's rules states that trainers that trainers oh my gosh I forgot about Beldum again okay we're gonna do it we're gonna do it that's I I promised we were gonna do it this episode I was gonna do it at the beginning I'm very forgetful. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. And this is it. This is it. Our first ja- I can't talk. It's impossible. Here it is, our first badge of Hoenn in the new remake. There we have it, the Stone Badge. The Stone Badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will also bit you. And you'll be able to stop stuttering. Please take this with you. Thank you. All right, we got Rock Tomb, which is pretty all right. Good to have some rocky moves on our side. Inflicts damage and also lowers their speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. That's great. 
Thank you so much, Roxanne. That was very sweet of you. We're going to run out of here, run down these little cliffs you have inside your gym, and see what is up with Beldum. Or not. You know, we could... Out of the way, move it! Oh, jeez. <laughs> you run so funny. It's like a little... A little rope. Wait, please, please don't take those parts. Oh, poor guy. I guess I'll have to go help him. I mean, it seems like the right thing to do. This is Rand specifically waited for me to get my gym. We're gonna heal. We're gonna get that Beldum. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and connect to Mystery Gift. Uh, I think that's in the main menu, so let's go ahead and save our game. Just real quick. Let's... Uh... Right. I don't remember. I don't know how to reset the game without doing that. Also, I made a huge thing I will talk about eventually. But that's okay, you know, at, at some point. I know you're wondering what it is, and I should tell you it has something to do with all the save data of my SD card going away and then also formatting my thing it doesn't matter that's fine anyways let's talk about that later it might also have some problems okay so we have the mystery gift here let's go ahead and receive ourselves a gift yeah get via wireless local connection I'm good I'm happy here and just kind of waiting a little while do, 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 do. Oh, it's so happy. I, I don't know the beat, so I can't sing along to it. I just have to do it, I have to do it randomly and hope that everyone kind of gets what I'm trying to get at here. But searching for a gift. All right, well, takes a while to get a gift, especially for that special someone. And I know that I am a special someone, so I don't want this gift to be going out of... Uh, Out of style? I'm not sure. This is just taking a little while. I will get back to you guys when it pops up. Huh. What do you mean there are no gifts to be found? Am I not allowed to get it? Ah, we'll figure it out later. Let's get back to the game next time. No, let's get back to the game. Okay, well, we're going to just be in a black screen for a little while. These, these things tend to happen. It's a little bit of loading. That's all right, though. So let us go ahead back inside the game of Omega Ruby and make our way to doing some nice things for people. Like eating pasta when they can't finish it so that they don't feel bad about making the food go to waste. I think. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure how this whole thing feels, but it's okay. I'm sure that's a social community sort of thing. Hi! Oh, you there. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalbug Woods. Jeez, you keep getting things stolen or attempted to stolen. It's not a very good look for you, unfortunately, but that's all right. These things tend to happen, and I believe there is a time where you can... I don't know what you're gonna... I'm not, I don't know what you're gonna do. What? It's okay. Oh, let's, let's walk across this here. Oh, I was going to slowly walk across, but apparently someone had a, a little other plan for me. Oh, it's a zigzag. I haven't seen that before. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm, it's just a, li it's a little jest. Not even a joke, just like a jest. A jester popped out of somewhere and was like, Hey, biscuits, can I have some? Yeah, you can. Aha. I tricked him out. Hey, how, how are you? How's it going? Oh, what am I to do? We were just on our walk. Peko and Pico. Pico. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I mispronounced that. How did I see the E as a C? I don't, I don't know how this works out, but that's okay. Hi, Rust Turf Tunnel. I want to say hi. I never get that item because it's just, what are you? What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let me, let me just encounter a Pokemon. I was going to say hi to Pico. But apparently, oh, that's cool, that little, little fade thing that happens with the rocks and whatnot. I really want to use Sir Skip, but still just a tad too weak. All right, let's help out this guy then. 
or well, we'll help get this guy straight. He said something about Keyhole, I think. This hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. Also, to think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. And now you? And you? Now you're here to battle me, really? Apparently. Who runs through a tunnel? I mean, if you were, you should just, just climb the mountain. Or hid in a tree. No one would ever find you in a tree. Actually, there's, there's absolutely no way to get out of here unless you have a boat. Wow, this city sucks. <laughs> I just realized, like, the entire region of Hoenn, if you were to live in Rustboro City, there is no way to get out of here unless you have a boat. There is no ferry. There is no... You have to be friends with Mr. Briny and hope that he'll drive you across the slate board so you can get to the rest of the city. Or you have to... For what... You have to somehow get the badge in... Oh my gosh, I have to, like, explain this to every- There is- This- Hoenn, as a region, is technically unviable because of these two little rocks that are in the way. And there is no way to get Rock Smash at this point. That really sucks. I'm sorry, I got off track and stuff, but this really is a very, very overlooked part of the architecture of the Hoenn map. That's plan- this is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devin. You want him back that badly? Then take him. All right, we got some parts. That's quite nice. Now let's see how that goes. Oh, hey, you're cute. Aw, Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Oh, so it's just it is it now. I sincerely thank you. The same thing I can do. See? You have to save his bird's life to just allow him. Oh, he's so cute. Doesn't even fly, just jumps. Hop and skips and stuff. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time for some more Pokemon Omega Ruby. See you then.